Welcome back to Dart 101, making comments in your code. So today I'm going to talk about statement comments and then multi-line comments and then document comments. So to get started, I'm going to go to the Dart pad. It's my friendly debugging tool to get started. And you can find a link to that in the description below. And in the previous episode, I talked about how to create the main method where the application starts. To build on that, I want to comment this print statement to start. So I'm going to give it an inline statement. And that's going to do be two forward slashes. And this is my con our statement comment. And the purpose of this is to tell you what I'm doing in my code. And I'm going to say, this is where I say hello. And that's, of course, obvious because I'm commenting there. And I also have a statement in the text saying what I'm doing. So that's a line statement. So let's take it a step further and saying I want to do a multi-line statement. And I'm going to go forward slash, asterisk, hit enter, and it's going to autocomplete. But how do I terminate that multi-line forward or for the comment? I'm going to terminate it by an asterisk with the forward slash. So I could continue on and add more comments. So in this case, I need to add comments here. And I'm going to say this is about something else. And I'm going to make one more and say, fix this later. OK, so that's basically a multi inline comment. Now I'll talk about how I'm going to do documentation comments. And I'm going to cover briefly in this episode. And then in the future episode, I'm going to have one entirely on documenting your code, uh, like an API. OK, so let's just create a simple class to do this. But I'm going to erase this. And let's create a simple class. So I'm going to talk about class construction later in the episodes. But I want to briefly cover documentation comments and how they are different between statement comments and multi-line comments. Because documentation can also be multi-line. So I'm going to go class something. And something will be in brackets. And I'm going to have one method in my class. I'm not going to talk about proper class construction here. But let's just give it a void some method, some, some method. And it's going to be empty. It doesn't have any parameters and empty body. OK, so multi-line comments started out with three forward slashes. When I hit forward slash again on the IDE, you'll get an auto creation of that. In this case, it's in the dart pad. So this is some class. And I'm going to describe it. And then I'll hit a line return, provide an empty line. And then I'll have a paragraph. This class goes the extra mile. And I could add more paragraph there. Well, that's a documentation class that talks about how this class behaves. Well, the same thing can be done in some method. Instead of doing asterisk, which is similar to JavaScript, and I could do a double there if I wanted to define it. I don't want to do it that way because they like it like this. This this is, is some method that returns nothing. And you can see I'm going to capitalize that and have a period that ends. And I could, of course, add more multi-line comments that describes what my sum method does. Well, let's just review real quickly. I have a single inline comment, which is going to be two forward slashes. My in, in or I could call this my statement comment. And then I have a multi-line if I wanted to do multi-line. And to terminate a multi-line for asterisk forward slash, and this is this is my multi-line comment. Okay, so what I'm going to do here with this code is I'm going to put keep it in the Dart pad, and I'm going to put it in the description below. It's best if you're trying out the code as I go through this to learn it better. This is code learning by example. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.